Hi, I'm Logan Rath, one of the librarians in Drake Library, and this brief video will show you how to find peer-reviewed journal articles using the Education Research Databases. You may be able to start right in Blackboard and choose Library Resources on the left-hand side of the page. But if you're not logged into Blackboard, you can start at the library homepage, scroll down, and choose Databases by Subject. Next, click Education. This is the Educational Theory Resources page that I've put together for you, and it has the most common databases for education research. In the middle of the page, you'll see Education Source, which is our largest education database, followed by ERIC, and then Psych Info if you're looking at psychology, motivation, behavior, or some other psychological topic. Science Direct can be useful if you have a science of learning type question or you can search for books and movies in our library catalog. Today we're going to look at Education Source. When you're looking at the advanced search screen for Education Source, you want to break your research question down into keywords and type one of those keywords on each of the lines if you have three keywords. For example, I'm going to use problem solving in mathematics to see what comes up. On the first line, I'm going to type problem solving and then I'm going to type the word OR. And the database will suggest alternative keywords. I'm going to repeat those steps with the word MATH and type OR. And I like math or mathematics. I can scroll down and set some search options before I even see my search results. The first thing I might want to click is scholarly peer-reviewed articles if you need that. The next thing we might need to do is limit to the most recent articles by putting in a date in the first box under published date. I'm going to choose 2014 and not fill out the second box because I want anything after 2014. I can choose that I want items that are from academic journals over here, but by choosing scholarly peer-reviewed journals, I am saying I only need things from academic journals. I can also limit to English under the language limiter. Last, I click search. At this point, I evaluate the search results to see if they match what I need. If you're not finding items that match what you thought you were going to find, you might be using a word that the author of the journal article did not use, and you need to try a different keyword. If you want to learn more about one of the search results, click on the title. If the article is available in PDF, click PDF on the left-hand side. This will load the PDF. From here, you can print or save the PDF to your computer. Whatever you do, do not use the address at the top of the web page to save this article. It won't work. Instead, on the right-hand side, choose the chain link icon for permalink. This will give you a link that will always get you back to this article in our library databases. If I go back to the detailed record, I can see the full names with the icons for all of the tools on the right hand side. The cite tool will also give me an initial citation in APA format. I can tell you right now this is not correct, and EBSCO cautions you right here that you need to pay special attention to personal names, capitalization, and dates. So double check that against the PDF of the journal article to be safe. In the event that we do not have the full text available in Education Source, you'll see a yellow button. Click the yellow search for full text button to locate the full text in any of our other databases. In this case, we have the article available in the Taylor and Francis collection. Click on the name of the collection to go to the publisher's webpage. It's fairly common that we receive the full text of the article directly from the publisher instead of through one of our databases. And when you end up on the publisher's webpage, you need to look around to find the PDF link. And I see it right here, it's green. And here's the PDF loaded on the page. In the event that we do not have the full text available in another library collection, you'll see a page that looks like this. 
Don't worry though, we can request a copy of the PDF. First, click Sign In. Next, under How to Get It, click on Place Article Request. You'll be prompted to log into Interlibrary Loan and submit your request. It takes up to It takes up articles are typically ready to download in two to three business days. You will receive an email when your article is available with further instructions. If you get stuck, if you get stuck, reach out to me. My contact information is on the main page under the database search boxes. You have my email, a phone number to text me at, my office phone number, which will leave a voicemail, and a link to schedule a meeting with me. If I'm online, you can even chat with me right through this page.